Have you ever wondered why some people seem to defy their age looking and feeling years younger than their birth certificate says? Why do some people seem to age so much faster than others, right? What if I told you there's a biological clock ticking inside every single one of us, counting down our moments? Isn't that wild? It's totally different from the one you wear on your wrist, right? This is the story of epigenetic clocks, a revolutionary tool that's changing everything we thought we knew about aging. Imagine your DNA as a massive library of books containing all the instructions to build and run your body. For a long time, we thought this library was static, that the books were set in stone from birth. But it turns out there is a whole layer of sticky notes and bookmarks on top of these books. It's like your cells are getting a playlist, deciding which pages to read and which ones to totally skip. This system is called the epigenome. As we get older, deal with stress, or just live a bit unhealthily, life can really take a toll on us, you know? Sticky notes can totally get messy, right? They can be misplaced or even fall off when you least expect it. Cells are totally misreading the instructions and it's causing some serious confusion, leading to the wrinkles, gray hair, and health problems we associate with getting older. Aging clocks? That's where the real charm and stories start to unfold. Then. In 2013, a scientist named Steve Horvath made a groundbreaking discovery. He found that by looking at specific patterns of these epigenetic sticky notes, a process called DNA methylation, he had this amazing ability to guess someone's biological age almost perfectly. How cool is that? This wasn't just your chronological age, the number of candles on your birthday cake. This was a measure of how old your body really is on a cellular level. It was the birth of the Horvath clock, the first of many epigenetic aging clocks. Curious about how it all works? Let's break it down together, shall we? Picture this. Your DNA is like a super long string, right? Along that string, there are millions of tiny spots where a little chemical tag called a methyl group can latch on. It's pretty cool. The Horvath clock, along with similar tools, takes a deep dive into your DNA by checking out patterns of these tags at hundreds of important spots in your genome. It's pretty cool how it helps us understand our biological clock. It's like checking the condition of a few hundred critical sticky notes in that massive DNA library. By comparing your pattern to a massive database of thousands of other people, the clock's algorithm can calculate your biological age. If your biological age is higher than your chronological age, it's called age acceleration. If it's lower, that's age deceleration. You might be thinking, okay, that's a cool party trick, but what's the point? The point is huge. These clocks do way more than just show the time. They're powerful predictors of our health. Numerous studies have shown that having an older biological age is linked to a higher risk of nearly every major age-related disease. Heart disease, cancer, dementia, you name it. It's a more accurate predictor of future health and lifespan than your actual age. It's like peeking into your biological future, seeing what could be ahead for you. This has opened up a whole new world for medicine. Instead of just treating diseases after they appear, we can start to predict who is at highest risk and intervene before they get sick. For example, doctors could use an aging clock test to identify someone with accelerated aging and recommend specific lifestyle changes to slow it down. It's seriously the best way to keep yourself healthy and feeling great, right? Imagine going for a checkup and getting not just your cholesterol levels, but your biological age score. But the most exciting part? The question that keeps scientists up at night is this. If we can measure biological aging, can we also slow it down or even reverse it? This isn't science fiction anymore. A landmark study in 2019, the TRIM trial, gave a small group of men a cocktail of drugs for a year. The results were astonishing. On average, they reversed their biological age by about two and a half years. Their epigenetic clocks literally turned backwards. This was a small study, but it was a massive proof of concept. It showed that our biological age isn't a one-way street. Since then, research has exploded. Scientists are testing everything from diet and exercise to supplements and new drugs to see how they affect our aging clocks. 
We're learning that things we already know are good for us, like a Mediterranean diet, regular exercise, and good quality sleep can genuinely slow down our epigenetic aging. Did you know that regular moderate exercise can actually make your cells feel younger? How cool is that? Caloric restriction, or even just fasting for certain periods, has also been shown to turn back the clock in animal studies, and the results in humans are looking promising. It seems the key is reducing chronic inflammation and oxidative stress, the daily wear and tear on our cells. Everything from eating processed foods and being chronically stressed to not getting enough sleep can speed up our clock. But the opposite is also true. A diet rich in leafy greens, berries, and healthy fats, combined with stress management techniques like meditation or spending time in nature, can help keep those epigenetic sticky notes neat and tidy. It empowers us by showing that our daily choices have a real measurable impact on how we age at a fundamental cellular level. It's definitely not all that simple, you know? There's a lot going on. There are different clocks now, like Grim Age, which is particularly good at predicting lifespan, and Pheno Age, which predicts health span, the number of healthy years you live. Each clock looks at slightly different patterns and tells a slightly different story. It's a complex and rapidly evolving field. We're still figuring out which interventions work best for which people. Your genetics still play a role, and what works for one person might not work as well for another. The potential is absolutely there, and honestly, it's hard to ignore. Aging clocks are transforming our understanding of mortality itself. For millennia, we've seen aging as an inevitable, unstoppable process of decline. These clocks are showing us that aging is malleable. It's a biological process that we can understand, measure, and most importantly, influence. We are moving from a world where we just treat the diseases of aging to one where we can target the aging process itself. This could totally be the biggest game changer we've ever seen in medicine. Imagine a future where your doctor uses your biological age to create a personalized plan to keep you healthier for longer. A future where we don't just add years to life, but life to years. Where 70 could be the new 50 not just in how you feel, but in the actual biology of your cells. We're right at the start of this exciting new era, and it feels amazing. The secrets to a longer, healthier life might not be hidden in some mythical fountain of youth, but right here, inside our own cells, waiting to be unlocked. The ticking of the clock isn't just a sound of doom anymore. It's like a friendly nudge, urging us to take action and make things happen. Thanks a ton for tuning in. We really appreciate you hanging out with us. This is such a fascinating topic, and we've only just scratched the surface. What do you think about all this? Would you want to know your biological age? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey into the science of aging, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the future of health. It really helps us out. Thanks again, and see you in the next one.